Okay guys, it's time for a, another set of run-by rambles. Uh, for this first run-by, I've got the uh, round, or excuse me, rather, the raised letter K5 LA up on the horn stand. Uh, we are doing all bells forward with this. Um, this is originally how I got this horn. That's how it showed up to me. And um, so... Um, just to give you an update on the uh, horn rig and what all is going on, the previous uh, electrical issue that I was having with it has surprisingly worked itself out. Um, the issue in, in question, for anybody that hasn't been keeping up with me on the Facebook group, uh, it was the uh, being able to charge the secondary battery, which is running the compressor and all the other electrical equipment in the back of the bed it wasn't working at all it the uh, battery isolator hadn't closed and so it wasn't charging the secondary battery i was getting kind of upset i thought maybe i did something wrong maybe i didn't ground the secondary battery well enough or maybe the ground for the battery isolator wasn't working but then i realized it takes a minute or two for the battery isolator to realize hey these batteries, both batteries are at a certain voltage, it's okay to close. So once that finally worked itself out, um, the relay in question actually closed. And in case you guys are wondering, it's a, uh, I believe it's called a Cole Hersey um, Smart Battery Isolator. This is the 200 amp version of it. And um, anyways, uh, it, um, I didn't know what was wrong with it and, and it eventually worked itself out. So it's nothing that I did wrong that I'm aware of. And so I'm just going to, uh, keep on doing what I do. Um, for now, I'm probably not going to run the compressor or dump the uh, secondary battery pretty heavily at all right now. I said, I still will plan to fill up the tank at the house using house air. And then, uh, depending on what's going on out here, if I start losing air quickly, I'll uh, just do quick charges, probably within about 10 minutes of each other, and, and, and that's probably about it. I don't want to work everything too hard, the secondary battery and the alternator, which the alternator on this truck is, uh, from the factory, it had 150. If you got the dual battery setup, you were given a 170 amp alternator but this truck did not come with that unfortunately so uh, we just have to deal with what we get um let's see what else is there to think of there's still a lot of things to come with this rig still uh some upgrades coming along and uh if you guys stay in tune or if you guys stay tuned uh we'll go over those updates and uh possibly have a discussion on horn rig 2.0 Yes, that's now coming into my thought process. Maybe here in the next year or so, we could look into something like that. Uh, for now, we're still sticking with the tried and true, and I don't plan on moving from that for at least quite a while. Uh, there's still a lot of personal issues that we've got to get through before, a lot of personal hurdles before we can ever get to that point. So uh, with that said, if the this is your guys this is your guys's first time being on this channel please subscribe check out all the other videos give them likes comments are always appreciated let me know what you guys want to see uh do you guys like these little run by rambles do you want to see maybe some more personalized uh in-depth detail things about the horns maybe you guys want to see more about the rig if you guys are interested in seeing how the rig works, please express your interest. Uh, we may do a video with uh, me going in detail about what, how everything runs. And I will say this much. First off is it's not perfect, but it works. So uh, with that said, let's uh, do some run buys.
Okay, so this next run by is going to be of a K3L, more specifically a Sandcast K3L. Uh, the kicker with this one is, as some of you guys already know, you know and for those that you don't, um, I already have a K3L, and it's pretty special in itself that it doesn't have a tag. It's actually got the serial number stamped on the bell, on the number one bell. Uh, this particular one is actually just made up of a set of bells. I bought a Sandcast 1, 2, and 3 bell from a guy off of the horn whistle board. Uh, the, I believe it was the newer one. But anyways, I bought this bell set off of him uh, in hopes of doing a particular horn project, which you will all see at some point or another. It's still kind of being put together. When time and money allows, we'll put it together. But anyways... Um, I've never heard these bells at all. I put a, maybe a little bit of, well, I shouldn't say I've never heard them before. I've put a little air to them, but that's it. Just to test to make sure they work and that they're fully functioning and that I didn't have to do anything or have them sent off to be remachined or anything like that. So, uh, without much further ado, uh, let's hear what these bells sound like. 